You know what they say? All work and no play. It makes Madison a very rich, successful uh, there's woman. There's more to life than that, m'lady. Just check out my business partner, Renee. She has her... Renee, I am trying to get Madison to work a little less. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, Max. It'll never happen again. Good. Hey, Max. Wait a second. I got something to ask you. Mm -hmm. Rhodey's Renee speaking. Hi, Renee. It's Maggie Carpenter. Uh, look, I, I wanted to leave Max a message, if you don't mind. Could you tell him that I'm, I'm thinking about him? Uh, darling, <laughs> you are perfect timing. He just walked in. You can tell him yourself. Max, Maggie Carpenter. You ready to go? In the car, I want you to tell me all about your first... Is this safe, man? Honey, it's 8 p.m. at night. I know I let things pile up just a little, Vicky, but tomorrow you won't believe how fast the mail will move. I've got it all figured out. What about today's mail? Excuse me. Oh. Yes, the city room, Victoria Carpenter. Mom, glad I caught you. Joe! Uh, Jeff told me you were back from Bermuda. Yeah, and it was quite a trip. I'll tell you all about it. I, Kelly hasn't called the house for me today, has she? Not that I know of, sweetheart. Why? Yeah, uh, I just wanted to talk to her about something. If I can ever find her. Stay calm. Stay calm. There's nothing to worry about. There's nothing to worry about. Do you think you see the dead body? The dead body in the trunk? Oh, God. Can I see your license, please, ma'am? Is there something wrong, officer? Can you step out of the car, please? Sure. You were driving very erratically, Miss Crane. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Never better. I, I, I'm sorry if I uh, was driving too fast or too slow. Can you walk a straight line for me, please? Oh, you think I'm drunk? No, I'm not. Actually, used to do some modeling work. Okay. Can I see your registration, please? Great registration? Sure. You know something? I'm going to tell you something. I know that I wasn't in control behind the wheel just now, but I've been crying all night. I just broke up with my boyfriend. Tonight, I saw him at the bowling alley with another woman. Well, ma'am, I'm sorry to hear that, but, uh... I just want to go to my grandmother. <laughs> Let's be stupid. A nice big hug and make me feel loved. Let's be soup, huh? Well, as long as you weren't drinking. Look, you want to get back at your boyfriend? You drive safely and stay alive. Show up at the bowling alley with a new boyfriend. Thank you. Thank you so much, officer. Thanks. All right, maybe this is just a really bad trip. Maybe David was just trying to be scared. Scott? I'm gonna open up the trunk, okay? And if you'll make sure that David is okay and that he's not dead, I swear I will make Dean's list every semester. I'll make up with Aunt Dorian, and I will help we, uh, Andrew and Kathy, I promise. Forever and ever, I promise. Okay? All right. Okay, God. David? All right, David, say something worthwhile for the first time in your life. Come on, David, say, I don't know. God, he can't do anything right because he's dead. Where does that leave me?
Joey, um, Tina and I are sort of getting ready to leave pretty soon. Is it all right if I stop by the carriage house and see you? Yeah, sure, unless I have to meet up with Kelly really quick. Otherwise, I'll be here. Fair enough. I hope to see you later. Bye-bye. Bye. Well, shall we? You can uh, tell me about your plan in the car, okay? No, wait, wait. Why tell you when I can show you? It's called the Tina Lord system. Well, I can see that. What does it do? It delivered mail, of course. In a whole new, different way. And I'm not talking right here with the banner. I'm going to franchise this system to newsrooms all over the world. Really? Mm-hmm. I, I know I have to talk to my lawyer about franchise fees and all the other details, you know, like the company logo. Now, I need something that catches the imagination, especially the visual element. You know, the logo has to be very unique. Yes, but you were delivering mail. Oh, Vicki, this is so simple that it's brilliant. All you have to do is reconfigure this room. Instead of having people sit randomly at workspaces, the Tina Lord system rearranges the desk alphabetically. Don't you get it? I mean, when people are sitting alphabetically, then the mail person can just glide by on rollerblades and deliver the mail in no time at all, you know? Bing, bing, bing. Honey, uh, people who work in a newsroom cannot be arranged alphabetically. Well, of course they can. It's easy. All you have to no, do is... No, no, no. Look, people are assigned to specific workstations because they work with other people in that same group. Sports writers work at the sports desk, and lifestyle writers work at the lifestyle desk, and so on and on and on. I didn't think of that. Oh, honey, I'm so sorry. Sometimes the old-fashioned way is the best way. What you mean is I should just do my boring job and stop trying to be something I'm not. No. No, I think it's wonderful to have ambition. And I was very proud of you when you told me that you wanted to start right at the bottom and learn the newspaper business from the ground up. Well, I can't feel any lower than I am right now, so I might as well get back to work. Oh, no, honey, leave it. Leave it. Don't leave the delivery. No, I'm going to do my work until I finish it. Besides, the kids are all, they're asleep. There's nobody else to... I know how that feels. Hey, what happened to all those eligible men that you were meeting through the dating service, huh? They may be eligible, but each one was worse than the next. Oh. Except for one. So it's going to Boston. That's where you are, right? You're talking to your supervisor? And, uh, we're still talking. Look, Max, the reason I'm calling is because I know that tomorrow is, is Frankie's appointment for his follow-up test. You didn't need to remind me, mate. I wasn't reminding you. I just wanted to wish you luck. Well, uh, thanks, but, uh, um, yeah, everything's yeah, gonna be fine. Exactly. We don't need it. Uh, this hearing's perfectly normal. We know that already. Anyway, I just, I wanted to let you know that I'm thinking about you. And Frankie, of course. Oh, about the airport. I am so sorry for being so weird. Hey, no, listen, listen. Uh, you were just reacting to me.
She does get back. Could you tell her I called again? Yeah. I mean, oh, you know what? There's the door. That's just probably her. Okay. Thanks. Bye. Mom. Hi, honey. Welcome back. Hey. <laughs> What's wrong? Nothing. No, come in. Come on. No, it's cool. Did you find Kelly? Uh, you seem so worried about her. Not worried. Just want to talk to her and don't find her somewhere. Oh. For someone who wasn't worried about her, you were awfully eager to find her. Oh, I know. I promised I wasn't going to pry into your private life. Okay, I won't. So, uh, tell me about your trip. All right, so I lied. I'm your mother. I can't help myself. It's, it's okay. You know what? I, I have to tell somebody. It's... Ever since Jessica told me how 
Kelly's been feeling. I, now I, I understand. I have to talk to her. Now I, I know why she moved out. I know why she lied to Lael about me being some massive one-night stand artist. I, I got to tell her now something about me, about what happened in Bermuda. <sighs> okay, come on. Maybe if I get you back into the truck, I can get rid of the car somewhere. I can point it. Two commuter trains that collided last year. That bad? <laughs> well, the bishop has God on his side. What does he need with a daughter anyway? I'm sorry, Maggie. But the good news is you're back in Boston. And I know you're so dedicated and committed. It'll all work out for the best. Mm -hmm. I was afraid I wouldn't see you before I left. Wait a minute, you're leaving? Why? You mentioned Santa Claus. <laughs> I guess he must have sent Paul. Paul. Paul LeBlanc, uh, an old boyfriend of mine. He showed up at Christmas at my folks' house, and, well, one thing led to another, and I realized I wanted to be with him. You're, you're, you're not, you're not, you're going to, to, to leave? <laughs> We're planning a June wedding in Chicago. Oh, I'd love it if you could be there. Uh, I, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I just thought that you were so dedicated and, and so certain that you, you belonged with us at St. Francis. I, how, how can you suddenly just... All I know is I'm crazy about the guy. And I've got to follow my heart. Even if it leads to Chicago. Luna said you two should be together, and as usual, she was right. Well, I can only hope that our wedding is half as magical as yours was. Listen, yours... You two will make your own happy. And as your best man, I guarantee it. Now, I've got some planning to do. Oh, no, planning. We've done the whole thing. You talking about the wedding? I, I don't care about the wedding. I got a plan. Bachelor party. <laughs> We're going to have it right here in Redis. I wonder if Madison's ever jumped out of the cake. Bachelor party? <clears throat> Wasn't it you who asked for a wedding with all the trimmings? And, well, a bachelor party is 
of all the trimming. Yeah, but. Gonna break their hearts during this town. Mmm, too bad. He's all I want. Forever. Um I couldn't help but hear you tell Renee that, that Beau was uh, in Ireland. Yeah, well, you know, my husband, he's uh, seems to be a real stickler for detail, you know. He just wanted to um he felt he should go and check out all the facts surrounding Todd Manning's death. That's the only reason? Uh yeah. Right. Um, well, Patrick got a call from Bo, and I'm, I'm positive they're up to something. Tell me, is it dangerous? Well, excuse me, Marty, but even if it were, what's it to you? The beach was beautiful, the weather amazing, and ev everything was perfect, except for one thing. Jordan and I realized that what we had together is gone. Oh, Joey, um, I'm so sorry. I know you had wanted it to work out. Even though you were dead set against it. <laughs> it's okay to say I told you so. No, I wasn't going to say I told no, you No, no, so. Mom, I was living in a fantasy. Uh, Dorian... Dorian was very important to me once. But now the magic's gone, I guess. You're glad I finally did something right for a change, aren't you? <laughs> Do you know what I was thinking? I was thinking how proud I am of you. You are intelligent, and you're sensitive, and you're strong. And I guess I'm particularly grateful that you feel you can talk to me like a friend and not just a mother. But it's okay if you can be just my mother if I need you now and then, right? It's more than okay. I love you so I much. You. Oh. Uh. Now, listen, I have been so preoccupied, self-occupied lately, I just, I want to know how you're doing. I'm fine. Honest, I'm fine. You don't have to worry about me. I have so much work to do at the Banner, I don't have time to yeah, worry about but anything else. work isn't everything. No, I'm not. Mom, I've been talking to Jessica lately, and she's been putting a lot of thought into, you know, whether or not you and Dad will ever think about No, 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 things. Joey, Joey, your father is involved with somebody else. I know that. And Mrs. Vega is very, very nice. But I learned the hard way. Sometimes when you think you should be with somebody new, the truth is that you should be with somebody who was there all along. Dust, thou art a dust. Or in your case, Davis, the worm crawled worm crawled out. The worm played peanut. Who's there? Who's there? found my place in life. Everybody's got to start someplace, Tina. Come on, tell me how many CEOs started off in the mailroom. You're going to be running this place in no time. You watch. You always know the right thing to say. I wish that were the case. Because I came by to tell you that I can't go to the ice show. Oh, no. Oh, I was looking forward to it. Well, the, the kids were. Oh, we're going to be disappointed. Look, tell CJ and Sarah I will make it up to them. I've got to go to Boston. I've got to close on those real estate deals that I started for Asa, that waterfront property you wanted me to pick up. Good luck, even though you don't need it. 
You know, here you are, a big success at Buchanan Enterprises, making important business trips for Asa. Mm -hmm. And I'm just delivering mail. I'll tell you, I don't know how I succeeded the way I did without you straightening my tie or giving me a kiss for good luck. You remember that? I remember. better be going. If you need anything, you call Natasha. She knows where I am. She knows my schedule better than I do. I'd be lost without her. Would you? Have a safe trip. Thanks. You, uh, keep up the good work, huh? <laughs> right. I'm concerned. If it weren't for me, Patrick wouldn't have come to Landview and gotten Bo mixed up in this terrorist plot or whatever it is. Oh, please, don't even feel guilty about it. If Bo would, if he was here, he'd thank you for getting him involved. Yeah, but if he's in danger somehow, I... Oh, no, no. It goes with the territory. You know, you marry Bo Buchanan, you marry the police force, you know. As much as I don't like it, but... No, at this time, it just so happens that he's personally in With the men of 21 trying to stop them from killing someone else. Well, how is that personal? As a wife and a lawyer, I don't have to answer that. I don't... At least tell me if Bo took Patrick to Ireland with him. No questions, okay? Please. All I can say is this case is very big and it's far reaching. And yes, it is dangerous, so I'm scared to death. But I know that there have been a lot of people who have lost their lives already. And Bo and Patrick are going to make sure that no one else becomes a victim. So that's the answer, isn't it? I mean, two of them... Yeah. Hey, woman, you Greg's and your fiancé. Get over here. Here we go. Sorry, coffee's instant. It's all right. Somehow Kelly managed to break my coffee pot and the cappuccino maker I brought back from Milan. Well, Kelly can be energetic. Yeah, that's that's uh, that's one word for it. I used to call her the, the Terminator. <laughs> no electrical appliance or electrical device that was safe from that girl, I tell you. <laughs> you really enjoyed having her as your roommate, didn't you? Oh, come on, Mo. She was like a tornado. She was a hurricane let loose in society. And, and yeah, I miss having her live here. Well, you can always ask her to come back. You know what? I, I want to. And I think even if I did, I don't think she would. She's met someone else. Someone I know? New guy in town. Oh. Well, maybe it's best if you live alone for a while, then. Without Hurricane Kelly around, you might actually be able to concentrate on your studies. Remember them in peace and quiet. Stupid squirrel. Scared me up to death. All right, David. That's the best I can do. I am out of here. Whew. Okay. Uh, David, uh, God, I commend your servant, David, to, um... I wonder they threw me out of conference, so I can't remember this prayer. Okay, uh, look, God, I, I know that you know everything, and I don't have to tell you what a sleaze David was, but I, I, I didn't mean to kill him, and he did not do it. He deserved to die. I, when I hit him over the head, I didn't realize I, I killed him. So if you could just forgive me, please, and, um, oh, yeah, and, and um, please don't let anybody trace the body back to me so that they would know I, I did it. I, I can't end up in a mental hospital like my mother. Okay. Listen. Don't tell me nothing's wrong.
so close to getting everything that I've always wanted. A big, beautiful, traditional wedding. A man I love. Oh. All, right. all, all that is, you know what it is? It's pre-wedding jitters. I mean, come on, you're gonna sit there and you're gonna go through all in your head about how something or somebody's gonna take it all away from you? Everybody goes through that. More than that. I, I uh... Promise me that you won't let anything get in the way of our getting married. Like what? I don't know. You know, I just have a feeling. When I spoke to Nora, she told me that... Bo and Patrick had gone to Ireland on some kind of dangerous mission. What, are you worried about them? No, no. It's about us. I don't want an assassination plot that was hatched in Ireland to follow us back here and... and... Bernie, listen. I'm gonna protect you, okay? You should know that, Bernie. You can't protect me from everything. Okay. Blair's, you know, given up on doing me for Todd's death. She's gonna find another way to try to hurt us. She's got control of the sun. She can plaster lies all over the front page again. Let her print anything she wants. I'm not gonna believe her anymore, Marty. Dylan! Come on. Blair Manning is not gonna come in between us anymore. Not now, not ever, okay? Oh! Oh! Wait, Are, are you okay? I'm just careless and clumsy and... No, I'm not okay. I got a daughter in rehab. I got a husband off playing hero. And I know, I know, I know. It goes with the life of being a cop's wife, you know. Got to learn to live with it while I'm allowed to. Every time Bo walks out the door, I'm so afraid I'm never going to see his face again. Sweetheart. Bo is going to be fine. He's indestructible. Hey, you're forgetting. He's a Buchanan. <sighs> Just... Oh. Somebody should have told me when you're climbing the ladder of success, you don't wear high heels. Huh. Tomorrow, sneakers. Or maybe not. Ladies and gentlemen, the banner takes pride in presenting the most beautiful, the most talented, the most dynamic performer that this town has ever seen. The one, the only, Landview sweetheart, Tina Lord. Starry sky, nice work. If you can get it, and you can get it if you try. Strolling with the one girl, sigh and sigh after sigh. Nice work. If you can get it, and if you get it, oh, won't you tell me how? Imagine someone waiting at the cottage door. Watch your heart sweet come one who could ask for anything more. Nice work if you can get it, and if you get it, oh, won't you tell me how? the most amazing woman I've ever known. I'd be lost without you. Oh, that's so nice. But what about Natasha? Natasha who? As of today, I'm kicking myself upstairs, and I'm making you the new CEO of Buchanan Enterprises. Tina Lord, the world belongs to you. <laughs> Everybody's got to start someplace, Tina. Come on, tell me how many CEOs started off in the mailroom. You're going to be running this place in no time. You watch. Mm, oh. Meanwhile, 
neither rain nor snow nor sore feet can stay this courier from keeping her around. Oh. care of it is to take you home and hold you all night. I'll make love to you until the dawn of the day. <laughs> I didn't teach us that cure in med school. Oh, yeah? Well, it's an old country remedy. See, the uh, thing that'll cure us both is to see that sunrise coming over Lantano Mountain in the morning. Mm -hmm. Then all your fears just wash right away. If you can do that, you're a miracle worker. Yeah, I can make it. Those two are hot enough to melt the snow. The way you look, you could start an avalanche all by yourself. <clears throat> I bet you say that to all the women. Yeah, I just want it to a week. Well, you say we, uh, Go back to my place and start a fire. Are you speaking figuratively or literally? Both. Buchanan's wife. Oh my God! Did something happen to him? Is he all right? What's no, no, ma'am. No, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to startle you. It's just I saw you sitting here, and I figured I should introduce myself. Oh. I'm Drew, Bo's son. I've been trying to reach you. What? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Don't I look fine? I usually walk after dark with a lamp in my hand that looks like the father of our country. You know George, don't you? Well, I'm, uh, what is this, a routine? Is it... Wait, uh, last time I, I, I saw you, you were at the country club with Drew. Yep. Drew was there. He left. He went away. But David didn't. Oh, great. Tell me you did not have a drink with that man. Of course not. Okay. <laughs> it's several. Brilliant. And then he probably tried to take advantage. What did he try to? What did he take you someplace? What did he? Did he try to do something to you? No. That's actually Paul. It's the other way around. Oh God! You did not sleep with him, did you? <laughs> Sleep with him? <gasps> Rest in peace. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no. Rest in peace. <laughs> I cannot tell a lie, Joey. I did not sleep with him. <laughs> I killed him. <laughs> I 